This video provides instructions for performing a sensory evaluation of stirred yogurt according to Christian Hansen's standard protocol. We will guide you through the steps for evaluating a yogurt sample with a focus on texture to help you obtain a holistic understanding of its texture profile. The attributes mentioned in this video are typically included when conducting a sensory evaluation of stirred yogurt at Christian Hansen, both for our internal trained panel and for customer tastings. We start the sensory evaluation by assessing the aroma of the yogurt sample. The cultures used in the yogurt affect the aroma and perceptions of its intensity. Common examples include buttery and creamy aromas, as well as, of course, yogurt aroma. We then evaluate the level of cinericis in the product, which indicates its water binding capacity, also known as way off. This characteristic is measured by inspecting the amount of liquid present on the surface of the yogurt. Until now, we have evaluated the attributes aroma and cinericis. Now, it is time to stir the yogurt sample. Keep in mind that it is crucial that every sample be treated the same way. We therefore recommend each sample be stirred five times and at the same pace. We also recommend stirring the samples from bottom to top at a gentle speed, which helps to ensure the yogurt becomes homogenous. We continue the sensory evaluation by assessing the gel firmness. This is done by taking a spoonful of the yogurt and placing it back onto the sample. The yogurt is considered to have high gel firmness if this spoonful retains its shape. Conversely, if the spoonful reintegrates quickly, that indicates a low gel firmness. Next. We evaluate the sample's ropiness by quickly dipping the bottom of the spoon onto the surface of the yogurt several times. A long string indicates high ropiness. The initial in-mouth attributes we evaluate are basic taste and astringency. Out of the five basic tastes, sweet, sour, bitter, salty, and umami, the sensory evaluation of yogurts most frequently uses sweet, sour, and bitter. Moving towards the texture attributes perceived in the mouth, we start by evaluating the mouth thickness. An assessment of mouth thickness is conducted by evaluating how much resistance the yogurt has when swallowed at a normal speed. Mouth thickness is evaluated without tasting the yogurt, instead focusing solely on its texture. The final oral texture attribute we measure is the mouth coating. A spoonful of yogurt is distributed in the mouth and swallowed. If the yogurt leaves a coating after swallowing, this indicates high mouth coating. If the yogurt disappears more quickly, like water, it indicates low mouth coating. We hope our demonstration provides both a useful framework for evaluating yogurt samples in a standardized way, as well as language that can be used to describe the sensory experiences involved. Thank you for your interest in collaborating with us. As always, we love to hear from you, so please reach out to your local Christian Hansen representative with any questions you may have.